Hey, Coach. What did you like most against the Spurs and the Sixers that you hope to see transfer over in the first half tonight? Um, just carry over in the second half. You know, being better in the second half, you know, especially in the third quarters. And um, you know, we gotta do a better job taking care of the basketball. Uh, we talked about it um, before training camp. We talked about the last three or four years. So just you know, we shoot fifty six percent from the field, but we only got seventy two shots. You know, so we can't have nineteen turnovers. And we just gotta be better with that. Continue to keep getting better. Darren Fox is famously very fast. How do you <laughs> go about <laughs> keeping pace with him, or at least making sure he doesn't get out? Too many times. Yeah, I, I think we just can't overextend our defense. Like, trying to pick him up full court does nothing. And so when he gets a full steam ahead, like, we're not in a you know, position to stun the basketball. We can't get full body help because it's too far out. So just being smart, trying to shrink the floor um, to try to take away some of the speed by, you know, making play in crowds. But if we're picking up full court and our defense is extended, it's going to be a tough night for us. I guess as a coach, how do you go about that calculus on a night-to-night -night basis, deciding whether to try to play at somebody's pace or bring them as close to yours <coughs> for faster or for slower? Yeah, I mean, offensively, we want to, we want to, you know, generate a pace, but you know, we don't want to allow him to to get out in the open open court. We don't want to allow him to get a, get in space where he can turn the corner, get to the basket, get to the free throw line. So we just got to make sure we're smart, shrinking the floor, make sure we're backing our defense up. Coach, uh, you probably don't need a scouting report, but I just want to get your thoughts on, you know, what DeMar DeRozan is doing for the Kings right now. What he's always done, average 25 points a game. Um, no matter how old he gets, you know, he's, he's like, he's a scoring machine, you know. He gets to the free throw line, a mid-range king, um, you know, shooting more threes now. But um, just an a, a all-around terrific score, you know. So we got to make sure uh, we make him make field goals and not free throws because you give him both, it's going to be a long night for us. And so he's already good enough, you know, um, without fouling, but we got to make sure we try to keep him off the free throw line best as possible. Well, what's your thoughts about him? You know, at, being that you know added dimension for the Kings. You know, since you didn't see him here on the West Coast now. Yeah, it's a huge add. You know, I think you know once you know Coach Brown gets used to their team and you know getting guys back, you know, um, and just kind of figure out how you know he wants to use each guy or what the rotations are going to be. They're going to be a tough team and when the game slows down. You get to the playoffs and you have a twenty-five point score on your team that. Now Fox and Sabonis and Monk. Now you got another guy that can average 25 points as well. Um, you know, it could be a long series for a lot of people. The effort level has been extremely high for your squad. How do you manage fatigue, especially in second halves? Do you, are you going to look at maybe changing rotations? How do you keep them fresh for those pushes in the fourth quarter? Just try to just read the game. You know, I think early in the third quarter, we look sluggish. Look like we don't have that pop. And we got to set up early. You know, get guys in. Energy guys are going to... Like I said, play hard, gonna um, have that energy we need, you know. So just watching the game and just kind of seeing how the flow goes. But having early triggers, quicker triggers than we have in the past. Offensively, it's like you were one of more DA shows than you had in previous years. Like why why does a team go to handoffs and, and like how does it help your offense? Well, I think DHOs you can kind of dictate which way you want your players to go, you know, and so um, bringing Norm out of left corner, bringing James out of the right corner. Um, it allows you to, you can't ice, you know, you can't get to the ball and try to send the direction you want to get it sent to. So um, when you're running DHOs, it's more so like a pick and roll, but they can't dictate which way they want you to go. And then completely different topic. I know we've asked you about Kevin's offense and trying to get him to get to a level where you want him to be, but what has he done defensively that has helped the second unit, helped the team, and helped himself stay on the really good defensively. Um, you know, coming into it, you know, talking to John Lucas, he said he's a, he's, a, he's a good defender. And so I didn't know he was just good. You know, we got to get, you know, get him comfortable. I think offensively, just, you know, running stuff that he's comfortable with. But in eight and nine games, it's kind of hard to get that right now. So just keep working with him, keep talking to him. But defensively, his deflections, steals, um, and taking a one on one challenge defense have been really good for us. Ty, make sure my stats right. You averaged 254 passes as a team last year. You're up to 294, going from dead last to 11th this year in total passes. What has changed that it's, the ball's just hopping much more this time? Um, it could be better to a bear, you know, but I think, you know, our guys are picking up the concept of getting to the next action a little mm -hmm. better, even though we got a long ways to go. Um, but just understanding how we want to play, um, who we want, whose hands we want the ball in, and then just kind of going from there. But, you know, we have a, you know, a team before, you know, we had PG and Kawhi where you know, we ran more ISOs, we got them to their spots with a live dribble, and so the passes wasn't, you know, flowing like that. But now, since those two guys are not here, 
you know, just getting to the next action, getting to the second side. That's kind of how we play right now. So um, you got to be able to change styles when you, you know, to what your personnel is. And we've talked about the, the turnovers quite a bit, but if you average 40 more passes a game, a, a turnover is just going to happen when you do that? Well, maybe we should say, tell them to stop passing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of looking at turnovers and the dunks and threes. Um, but no, just, just being good with the basketball. We can't have like the five second calls, taking the ball outside of bounds, you know. Um, we can't, you know, throw the ball to the other team when they're not even putting any pressure on us. Like things like that that we can control. Um, if we're attacking the basket, getting to the paint, the guys are stripping us or we try to make a pass, and that's totally different. But the seven or eight, you know, terms of game that we can definitely take away. So we gotta be better with that. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Yeah.